Our audio designers have put a lot of effort into sort of changing the sound. Part of it is because our environments are so open and there's so much desert involved, they wanted to make sure that they had distant sounds and close sounds. What we do is we take the Fallout 3 weapon assets and we have repurposed them so that they sound a little more like they're in the environment of Fallout New Vegas. So you hear the rapport of the sound bouncing off of the different spaces and in the mountains in the background and all that. They did a lot of desert sound recording and it really makes the gunfights and stuff especially feel very different. I went out to um, Azo Borrego uh, Desert National Park a couple months back and we're just out there. It's dead silent. There's no one around for 30, 40 miles at the very least. We're out there digging through the rocks and causing rock slides down there. They've also put a lot of effort into shaping the sounds of the desert and it can be very unnerving walking around because you hear these like little crinkles and rock shifting and things like that. Really, they want to make sure that there's a very strong reactive element to where you travel, especially with the music, too. When it comes to the music of Vegas, it's sort of almost like the contrast between the world that we're going to get to run around in. It's the desert, and it's what's going on there, and it's the strip. And those are two big things that we almost had to think very differently about. We're working with Inan Zur again, and Inan was really excited about the sort of shift in locations. I feel that going on this game was sort of like a coming back experience, but also a whole new one. He's been working with Scott Lawler on a bunch of actually kind of experimental sounds to go into our music. We got together, you know, and myself, and we talked through really what we wanted to do different with this game and how we wanted to differentiate it from Fallout 3. Me and Scott um, had a lot of discussion before we started. It's like, okay, so, you know, we really want to do this Western style, but it should be decadent, it should be twisted, it should be scary. I think that the choices went more and more toward string quartet. The reasons we chose that is I wanted the score to be very textural and have this sort of grit to it that you can really get from those close mic'd instruments as the rosin moves across the strings. When the player's moving around, they don't feel that the music is just, just playing without purpose. It, it, it always sort of evolves with the action and devolves with the action as well. Took a lot of brainstorming, not only the way the music needs to sound, but also the way the music is going to be construct and deconstruct in a way that it will follow the player, but then in a new way. When there's no one around, it's still there and it's got this very low, ominous tone. Enemies enter the area, layers sort of build upon the piece, and as you get into battle, it sort of builds further. Aha! But then we have to take it into Vegas. The strip itself will be a very interesting challenge because we want to, of course, have the ambient sort of feeling, but also, once you get into the strip, a lot of the radios in that environment are playing Radio New Vegas, which has Mr. New Vegas, which is Wayne Newton, and will have sort of classic songs of the era. It really just kind of went from there, and it was smooth. And, and working with Enon was an absolute pleasure. He came up with amazing pieces. It was exciting to come to work and look at my inbox and find, you know, these amazing pieces of music every day. People are understanding that music for computer games is, is something that needs to be a very, very high level. I feel the pressure. I feel the demand. Uh, but for me, it's just fueling me. It's not really, you know, <laughs> scaring me. We've been very fortunate to have the best actors in the world, some of the best musicians in the world coming in, best composers in the world, and the best sound designers. And, and all these things have come together to really 
uh, create a soundscape that I'm very proud of. It achieves the goals that we really set out for this project.